guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. Well, I guess it's time to do a long overdue update on the ankle. <laughs> the broken ankle. Um, I have been meaning to do an update on this situation, but I really struggle with sharing uh, too much personal information about myself. I've been very good my whole life about building walls up around me and um, even doing the YouTube channel at all was a bit of a struggle at first. Um, but I thought I'd update people on uh, the situation. Um, as some of you know, I broke my ankle 11 months ago, pretty much. So I've been walking. Uh, the broken ankle wasn't the biggest problem. The fact that the bones wouldn't heal was the problem. I don't know why. I haven't gotten any answers on that. Um, uh, there weren't any tests done. I'm just told that's happened sometimes and of course I don't want to go on a tangent because I struggle to keep my opinions to myself and there's just so much involved in this whole situation. I'm sure some of you will know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, I've waited a long time. I've struggled. My entire body hurts from walking on crutches and from walking um, off balance and with one foot higher than the other and one shoe on. And I can't wait to wear two shoes again. <laughs> a pair of shoes, not just one shoe. I have all my right shoes in the entranceway here. But... Um, Anyway, I have my surgery date. I was told I was going to get six to eight weeks notice. I got one week's notice. So I have been in full-on panic mode. Um, there's so much I wanted to get done with, like cleaning the some of the apples off the trees so the, to promote the food, the growth of the like bigger apples. There's just so many things that I need to do. But then, of course, once I have the surgery, I will be able to do a lot more, hopefully. My biggest concern is if the bones wouldn't heal to begin with, why are the bones going to heal after the surgery? I guess that's my big concern. My really only concern. Um, I'm not concerned about the pain and stuff like that because um, I've been through way worse <laughs> than this. So, um, oddly enough, the hospital, I'm getting the surgery done tomorrow in Red Deer Regional Hospital. And 40 years ago today, I gave birth to the most beautiful baby in the world in Red Deer Regional Hospital. 40 years ago today, uh, my son was born in the same hospital. Tomorrow I'm having the ankle surgery there. So anyway, um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know which one's going to be more painful. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm looking forward to getting this fixed. I'm looking forward to hopefully healing properly and actually being able to walk properly. My back is pinched again and again. I think it's because I'm walking sort of like a penguin and my, my spine is rocking all the time. My right foot and my right leg hurts all the time because I'm putting way more weight on it. It's just messed up my whole body. And then of course last winter I couldn't go snowshoeing with Rita. I couldn't go hiking, you know, on the trails with her or anything. I can't do anything. You know, I hobble around here and get as much done as I can, but um, I cannot stand to not be able to do stuff. So anyway, I'm having the surgery done tomorrow. I'm really hoping it's going to go well. I'm not sure yet if I'm trying to decide whether to take the camera with me. Um, uh, see, well, I'll see how I feel about that in the morning. But I'm um, really looking forward to getting this fixed and to hopefully, um, well, it might be winter time before I'm actually be able to wear two shoes or two boots. But um, I've got two weeks in a plaster cast and then another six weeks in this stinky, nasty boot. Like, I'm, I tried to tell them, like, I don't know, I'm afraid somebody's going to come after me with a hazmat team uh, when they see this boot. Um, you know, walking around, mucking around here in chicken poop for 11 months. <laughs> so, um, we'll see what, what, uh, I'm, I'm looking at maybe getting a new one, but again, I don't know if I want to spend the money on that, uh, at this point in time, because I'm really hoping I'm not going to be in that stupid thing for another year. So anyway, hoping for some good luck and, um, some healing tomorrow. 
Um, I think this is a pretty simple, pretty routine surgery. Um, so I don't really think it's that big a deal. I don't like being put under anesthetic, but it has to be done. So, um, anyway, really looking forward to having this done. Um, maybe reminisce a little bit about what I was doing there 40 years ago. Hey, Adam. <laughs> anyway, um, it uh, will be nice to have this out of the way and uh, on the way to healing, hopefully. And um, we'll see. I might take the camera with me tomorrow. I don't like, I guess I have, I struggle with letting people see me when I'm vulnerable, when I'm weak, when I'm upset, when I'm stressed, <laughs> when I'm freaking out. Uh, so many other things. I, I tend to only allow people to see the happy face. And I, I work really hard at that, so um, we'll see how things go and whether or not I want to document <laughs> what a basket case I might be. <laughs> anyway, I'll sign off for now, and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow.